Yo, what is going on guys? It's Toby here and today we're gonna try and get an update on Sally with the Mach 1 bumper. I don't think anything's been done, but we're gonna go ahead and check it out. So right now I'm waiting up for Gino to get here. <laughs> or Gino. <laughs> That's John's nickname that he gave. <laughs> or Gino. But anyways, Gino should be here any second now and then we'll head over to the body shop and see if anything's been done. Two weeks without any progress is kind of crazy. What, what day is it? Okay, the date is actually December 16th, and I dropped off Sally on December 1st over my freaking Thanksgiving break. Actually, no, it was November 29th over my Thanksgiving break to have the bumper painted. So I'm about to take this car back, guys. Like, this is ridiculous. It's taking way too long to get simple body work done. There's Gino about to do his racer flyby. <laughs> Let me get in. All right, so it started pouring, which is freaking fantastic. Of course, we didn't take the FRZ because Gino hates driving it. And my tires are bald. I got <laughs> six. And uh, yeah, the body shop guy said he left, so I don't know. Four o'clock and what the guy left. Weirdo, look at this. Show the camera. What <laughs> a weirdo. One of my followers told me that he saw Sally earlier today and that it was blocked in, but guess what? It's not. So I didn't bring this. <laughs> I forgot the spare can't believe back this home lord. and uh what a cringe lord. I can't believe this cringe lord didn't take the spare bro <laughs> There's Sally though not a thing done, but bro. I'm gonna take it I'm gonna take it. You better rip off that bumper. Yeah, no, we'll take the bumper off I bet the the Mach 1 bumper still inside the car. I swear to god. It better not be Come on, now, splitter. Bro <laughs> Is it in the back seat? Yeah, it is No no, it's not. I think there's just like a splitter Part like of a it? grill or something. What the f*** is that? Oh, you're, I thought that was a Whipple, but it was your <laughs> exhaust. We're taking the car back, though. We are taking it back. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Vinny. If you're, if you're watching this, bro, here's my explanation. I need it for the weekend. I need it for the f***s, okay? <laughs> oh, my God. Those are the GTE lights. So it looks like he took the bumper out already. Ooh, that's going to look nasty. And he just left, like, the grill couple of winglets in there and I guess he's painting the bumper right now but I'm gonna text him and tell him that I'm borrowing the car for the weekend bro really has a boost leak and left the the intake system open bro <laughs> yeah. look at I'm serious look at that oh crap yeah Damn, bro the cockroach should have a fun time when he starts that <laughs> up <laughs> the cockroach all right Gino bumper off meet get the car back on the 85 tune all right, okay, get the spare. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's the plan. <laughs> I always do that and you get mad. All right, so we have the spare key. We're going to pick up Sally, flash the E-Tune, and probably go to a car meet. But we also have to take the bumper off, too. So it's going to be tentative. Um, we're definitely going to be taking the bumper off in some random parking garage again. So, And then I'm going to take the grill off of it and the splitter and going to sell those. But I'm going to get rid of the other bumper. We literally don't need it. It's destroyed. All right, let's get her. <laughs> that would have been the big brain move to take off the bumper here, but I didn't think of that. This is going to be the first start and God knows how long. I thought it was going to be louder. It's loud. Yeah, it is. I can't even hear you. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was gonna yeah, let's catch go you in 4K. Beep. Um, we're gonna take off the bumper here in this random, random parking lot. So I brought my toolbox from Jags. We're gonna pop that out. Also brought the jack, and then we're gonna throw the bumper out and take the winglets, the splitter, and the grill, as discussed earlier. So yeah, literally random garage. I really need my own shop, which I am opening up a vinyl shop pretty soon. So you all have to stay tuned for that. We're gonna be doing 3M vinyl wraps in Orlando. Bro, but look at it. Vic is the professional at taking bumpers off here. Come on, man. Yeah. We already took these bolts out. There are like five or six on the top. Remove those, get the ones out of the fender liner. Just remove the fender liner really easy with a trim removal tool. And now uh, the professional Vic is going to show us. He was Wait, just about to crack my carbon fiber fender. Only a little. <laughs> Only a little, he says. That plastic thing in the middle? Yeah. It'll come off if you just push down. Right? Yeah, if you pull down hard enough, it'll pop. Whatever. We'll do that after. Is everything disconnected? Yeah, everything's out. Under? He said oh. there's nothing under. It was just on the fender liner, no? Bumper is obviously off now. And one of the last things we're going to do is take out the grill and the splitter. Um, the grill lights are actually a little bit complicated, but it's not too bad. This should just pop out, really. You just push down and pull? Yeah. All right, I need it. You need a down. flathead screwdriver. Plastic? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You see now? Wait, I think you gotta go from the top, no? No. Nah. That's what I thought. Hold up, let me but see he, that. Nah, Can I, I hold, hold it? That? Bro, I got it. Where's this one? That's what all that wiring looks like right there from the grill. We gave up on the splitter for now. We're gonna take that off later. Because we wanna get meat. Wait, watch out, watch out. Wait, oh. wait, don't rip your lights off. Yeah, because you're ripping your lights off. Hold up. They right. purposely you, come off. It's you fine. can pull it though. Keep going. Bro, you have so much room in this car. What the heck? Pull a little more. Well, there's no more room. I mean, here. Hold up. Okay, you're good now. Now you can pull back. Whole Mustang bumper in the back of the Veloster N. Let me know what you guys think of it. I think it looks really dumb, but... Eh. <laughs> already imagine the look on my mom's face when she sees this thing. Not a good one in the apartment. This is actually so fire the way you set it up. What? His lights. Look how fire it is. Yeah, like it you is. Can just remove it. That is pretty cool. And it's diffused. How much were these lights? Literally like 15 on Amazon. I might do that. That's I've pretty never sick. I've done it in a Mustang. Yeah? My last Did car. it look sick? Oh, yeah. I'm doing it. It's I'm doing it. I don't care. Such an upgrade. <laughs> Gonna fit? Yeah, it's fine. Sure about that? <laughs> oh my god, if my mom's there, she's gonna freak out. Watch. I'm gonna get my mom's reaction to this. Mom! Come here! I, I need you to check something out. Huh? Are you crazy? <laughs> Are you absolutely insane? Oh, look at this, what he's doing, man. Come on. We decided to take off the splitter in my room and we're backing the bolts out right now. They have a nut on the back side, so it's kind of difficult. But yeah, I made a huge mess, my bad. It's almost off though, as you can see right there. And then we'll just toss that bumper and keep everything else. Tell you what, fellas, taking out those bolts is like super annoying, but we're almost done here. I'm gonna wrap it up, take the bumper out to the dumpster, and be done with it. The splitter's right there. I mean, this is not fun at all. I am sweating bullets. 
doing this in this room. Finally got the whole splitter off. That thing was terrible to remove. And then we also weren't able to get one of the bolts out. So we just cut the plastic piece of the bumper. But we're gonna go throw away the OEM bumper right now. So gotta cart it down, take it all the way down. Sir, do you have anything to say before throwing this bumper away? Hey, yo! <laughs> Gino and I just tossed it, so goodbye. It's a Sally's original and OEM bumper. That is history now, time for the Mach 1. Boom, and good morning fellas. Picking up the vlog the next day after that whole bumper mess got sorted out. You can see the APR splitter right there. But anyways, I'm getting rid of this Rotofab cold air intake. I sold it to one of my followers because as you guys know, this is not gonna work with the supercharged setup. I have to get the Rotofab big gulp. But anyways, my follower also wanted me to throw in some of the Christmas merch. So this is what the Boost Weather design looks like. I briefly talked about it before. And I also have to drop all that off at USPS too. Those are other merch packages or other orders that I have ready and set to go. So they're delivered before Christmas. But I'm gonna get this thing folded up and then I'll throw it in there and then get the Rotofab cold air intake in the box. I'm actually also going to Orlando after this to go to a car meet and meet up with Sean. He's the one with the Vortec supercharged Mustang. But anyways, I'm also meeting up with Dan. I think I need to take apart this elbow real quick. So let's get that done. This shipping is not going to be too expensive, but yeah, I expected that. 18 bucks, 10.8 pounds. All right, whatever. All right, let's not leak any addresses, but this is officially set and ready to go. Last little quick thing before I dip out to Orlando for the car meet. I'm going to go ahead and package up maybe 20 more units of the merch. These have to arrive before Christmas, so I'm trying my best to get everyone who ordered before a certain date to get their merch before Christmas. But this is the back design. We have Sully right there. We have the Yeti, it says Boost Weather. And then this is what's on the front. So in the left-hand corner, you have the Yeti with the Whipple once again. So if you guys wanna check out the merch, I'll link it in the description below. And I'll also put the website up on the screen right now. So many orders here to drop off at USPS. And I did check the arrival date. It'll come before Christmas, but this thing looks so goofy right now. Like I literally cannot bear the look of it. Oh my god, I need a new bumper. I know people race like this all the time. You gotta think about it. That's probably adding way more drag because the aerodynamics of the car are messed up. Like, the air is supposed to be channeled around to the wheels. It's probably getting all hung up on everything in there. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna miss the event, but good thing it's going on tomorrow. This really, really clean SDK pulled up and it doesn't have a hood on it, right? So it looks like it's supercharged. That's what I saw on the engine bay for glimpsing over real quick. But we will have to catch the event tomorrow. I guess and I need to get off on this exit so I'm gonna put the camera down so I can focus Tonight, 
and apparently the main event for this drift event is tomorrow but i missed a lot man like i missed out today i wish i didn't have stuff to do with sending off the merch and stuff but we'll make up for it tomorrow when we go sean do it again <laughs> Yes, which is also downpipe in tune, so that thing's crazy fast. You all hear that? We need to do a draggy run with that McLaren. That'll be sick. Get the 60 to 130 times, etc. I need a freaking C6. That chop is just too much, man. And there's McLaren again. Just about to end. Uh, GT500 track pack one, but I'm carbon fibering it. So here's the new grill. I don't know, you can't really see it. If you shine a light in there, oh, yeah, you can. I got you, bro. You have the yellow lights in there and stuff. So those are the GTE lights. That's sick. Yeah. That's so cool, bro. And then these are the fog lights from the stock bumper because I like ripped the bumper off and ran in a parking garage. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, that was your set though, right? Because yeah. of the hurricane. But then we zip tied it just to get it to 7.7 uh, seven performance. And then. Yesterday we removed the bumper in a random parking garage. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, that's what's up. And Brian. Yes, sir. Did you see when I put you in the TikTok video? With the shifter. How do you tighten it? When is the last? When? When is the from the meet last time? When is that? I got it. I got to edit, man. I got to edit, man. You got it. <laughs> He's hyper tonight, man. The YouTube vlog is this, Dave. The game's right here. <laughs> Sean looks like a little girl, bro. <laughs> Why are you hard? Why do you have <laughs> <laughs> That is a vlog. Yeah. Dan's about to harass this person. Hey, Toby, come here. Come here. Nah, nah. It runs off the battery. I have your answer. The lights run off the battery, man. You don't no, have to no, ask. No, Ask still if it, if he has like a long cigarette lighter, bro. You have a long. Just ask him. You, you have a. Long, do you have a long, a long, a long, a long? A long yeah, yeah. Do a long, that, do shake that. his hand and do with some of the other cars out here, brother. Brother. <laughs> <laughs> we need a camera out of my face. Are you gonna take the camera if you go for a ride in the McLaren? Yes. All right. We gotta get Dan's reaction to pulls in the McLaren. It's down pipe tune, like I said earlier. Definitely gonna be fast. It's gonna make my balls get bigger. All right, buddy. Yeah, buddy. All right. Jesus Christ. Okay, cut, cut, cut. <laughs> nothing because at the end of the day it's the 18th of December and Messi FC has won I don't care if you support Ronaldo Messi is the greatest player of all time and I don't even have to say anything because the numbers back that so elbows are <laughs> mad all right thanks for the <laughs> random rant Gino but we're gonna close out the vlog because we're gonna install a new shift light on the Mustang so we already programmed it a little bit oh my god man if I can pull out my camera a watch Ooh, look at that. That's the launch RPM. So it flashes at like 1500 RPM for now. And we're gonna do like a full tutorial as to how to install this. We're gonna tuck away the trim and all that so it's hidden. And we're gonna do some pulls, but that'll be a separate vlog. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>